All right, shalom, shalom, Pastor Corey. Uh, it's going to be a little noise here, but that's all a part of it. And, uh, you know, but the fellas are out here on the first day getting work in, deacon, over here doing some cuts right now. Got Brother Josh out here, Brother Vess out here getting it in, little MJ. And, uh, you know, what we are, you know, trying to do is just show you all that we are out here working and putting it in. I want to show you all another part of uh what's going on this is where we're gonna put this chicken coop right here um once we get done we're gonna get everything leveled off uh this grassy area right here we're gonna we haven't really done anything with this part of the land yet but if you can see down there there's a a lake down there we're gonna take the children fishing uh next first day uh be the father's will and uh we're gonna do a fishing class with the young children um but you know just out here putting it in with the family having to you know we got that land down there where you see the lake at and then beyond that there's another you know platform down there that we have that we also can build on there's another pond behind that uh part of the land as well but we out here you know we out here we out here you know this is what it looks like you know on this side of it you know over there we're working on uh some outhouse type things you know for that but uh, we got a little josh over here doing some cutting but uh deacon what's 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 the plans for the chicken house you know for the chicken coop over here so it's gonna be 14 feet deep 20 foot wide and it's gonna be split Almost perfectly in half. One side is going to be meat birds, the other side is going to be for the legs. And we're going to have the run going around half of the coop. Hallelujah. The yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. So, so as you, you all heard it, that's that's what we got going on. Uh, again, usually on first day, this is where we get out and put the put the work in. And, uh, you know, all through the week, high schedule work now, you know, we have what's called a morning crew and the evening crew. The morning crew, we get up. You know, Deacon and uh, Brother Snow get off work pretty late, about 2 a.m. But uh, we, you know, try to let them rest up a little bit and then try to get right back out and hit it about 7 a.m., 8 a.m. Uh, because we don't, we want to keep them safe on the road going back and forth, you know. And so we try to monitor that. But they they get that done, you know, in the morning. And then uh, the evening crew, once the, uh, all the brothers that coming home from work, uh, they'll, they'll get in, get situated, and then they'll hit it from about 4 to 8 p.m., 4 to 7, and uh, that's the way we got it going, you know, right now, just so we can keep everything going. But it's all about, you know, community. It's all about, you know, being able to, you know, position ourselves to do what we've learned. You know, it would be a damn shame for us to see all the things that have taken place and straightway all the things that's going on at the community, have these many men around here, and not put any work in, you know, and so, you know, that's terrible, you know, for people to understand, you know, the things that we have seen and not do anything with it, it would be a bad, bad piece. Right now, uh, over in the garden, I'm going to go over there here in a second, but we have uh, some brothers over there working on getting the trellises up because we're going to do some things, you know, in the garden. So what I'll do right now is just take you all out over there. All right, here we are over here at the garden. Got uh, Brother Perry down in Pittsburgh, Kansas. Uh, up, You know, it's a really good brother coming up every week, you know, helping out him and his wife, Sister Danielle. And uh, just been great, you know, having Brother Perry around because this brother gets here and he puts it in. Don't mind, you know, getting the work going. But anyway, here it is right here. You know, we have these trellises up. I don't know if we had this up last time we did the other video, but... What we're doing, we're getting trellises here, all right? And so you can see now, you know, at first you saw the other video where we were getting the raised beds filled, where we got them filled. And, uh, you know, so we're getting ready to get these other trellises up because the idea is to create shading for some of the other uh, vegetation that don't need con constant, continuous sunlight, um, but also use the trellises that we can get more growing space. All right, get the beans growing over the top, you know, vine plants, things like that. We're also looking at 
maybe possibly putting some uh, bushes like grapes and other things on the outside and let them grow and interweave and through the fencing. But so far this morning, Brother Snow, what, what were you guys planning on getting done today? So we were planning on basically taking these cattle paths and then making this side symmetrical with this raised bed. So basically, like you said, arching the trellis is over and uh, put these two posts in to you know, give them more stability. Got you. So is it, was it seem like it's a hard process, pretty, fairly easy process? It's fairly easy, straightforward. It's not too much hard of a job, you know, pretty light work. Now, hallelujah. So there, you know, there it is again, straightway, you know, family, you know, want to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we do what those things are to, you know, get, get going. Cause I know we had such a just drastic move last time. We had all our beds laid out. We had our whole garden plot laid out. You know, we had prepared the ground right before Passover. So we were ready to really come down, come back and get the things in the ground. We've been looking at, uh, you know, some good yield here coming up. Uh, but, you know, that's the way it works. You know, the most high blessed is we came, we getting it done. You know, fellas are still working. You know, we got good brothers like uh, Brother Perry and, and Brother Kevin, you know, that comes up. And then the other brothers, you know, from the city, you know, I have a schedule laid out for them so that they can, know when to be out here because the thing is we got to know you we got to see you got to see you labor and we want you to be a part of that see i don't have time to sit up and 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 you know play around dink around on facebook all day you know that's what a lot of people like doing and you know uh being contentious you know in their demeanor and things that they trying to do but i don't have time for all that bull crap and so you know what we're trying to do is really learn how to get out here and get prepared see our our you know i've always known that the mindset needs to be preparation in, in process with getting our minds and our spirits right. And so being prepared, you learning how to get your hands down. So if it ever come down to us having to maintain ourselves, we at least want to have the knowledge on how to do that. We at least want to be prepared to be in position to be able to do that. So this is what happens when you, you know, take the knowledge that you see about community you see other people you know you see the the, the home hub straightway tennessee how they put it together you see that their their work process so right now the process you know that works for us is that you know we got a lot of brothers going to work everybody's working so when you have like i said earlier in the video you have brother snow deacon you know sometimes myself i get home late sometimes but either, my deal is making sure that I get up and get the morning crew going. And then in the evening, you know, somebody like Brother Vess, you know, or Brother CJ or some of the brothers in the evening, make sure that the evening crew gets going. And, and we got everything laid out. And as we go, we're going to continue crafting our daily work schedule so everybody knows what that looks like, what you got when you come in, the expectation with it. It's going to be posted. You also have an email copy of it. So we're trying to make sure that you be blameless and be without excuse that ain't nowhere to hide. Ain't no excuse you don't know what to do. The, you know, the last thing that I'm going to say about, you know, that, that I think is great about what we're trying to do here with community. You know, we, we've come to a land or this is where Brother Chris, you know, used to live, you know. And so it was already a process where we moved out, they moved out, and then they end up moving out here. The land, you know, the landlord who now uh is the seller of the property um you know he, he he just he liked what he saw with you know the saints that dwelled out here so you know it's it's, it's a lot of favor in with the owner of the, of the property who is selling it to us and so it's just it's always good to be in position to represent the the ministry to represent the the faith the most high yah you know and that's what the plan is you know, and, and what we plan on doing out here, you know, there's a lot of things we want to do in terms of building, you know, getting set up, having opportunity for people to come out and fellowship and, and come and be a part of what we got going on out here in straightway Kansas City. But the, the, the main thing that you understand is that all we are is an extension of what the Most High is already doing in the body as a whole. And that's just making sure that we have set apart places. And this is what this is about. So if you ain't ready to be set apart, you ain't ready to dwell in a set apart community, especially give of yourself and give of your resources, then 
that this, this is not the lifestyle for you. You know, you know, we, we, we talked about that in depth yesterday with that message called a parable, you know, where you had a chance to really see that people are called out when truth get called out. Either you have a heart and a mind to hear or you don't. And so when people get called out, it's just like being here in the community. You get called out because you don't, you know, you, you like hiding when the work come or you don't like giving up your resources or whatever the case may be. You, you got to throw all those things out the window when you dwell in community. You got to be, be ready to be rebuked. You got to be ready to be disciplined. You got to be ready to just serve when you when you thought you served enough. And that that's the, those are things that I found that I saw that I know that makes it work. And that's why we all of us are out right now getting it done. Ain't nobody in the bed asleep. Nobody's hiding. Everybody's everybody's out getting this thing done. So I just want to encourage you all wherever you at, however you got to start. You know, we you know, we started by leaving the city finding a place where we can just plant and, and garden and get chickens and learn how to do some of the smaller things for you couldn't do much building way back when brother bud was coming you know he was int help introducing us to some other aspects and so now we got people that's taking it over uh brother josh works for a uh, a building company brother cj is about to work for a building company so we about to skin this cat we're gonna skin it and uh, the rest of us are going to get caught up and take the knowledge and surround ourselves around this. Plus, we got other people that we know. We got, I got master electricians that, that their you know, children are in, in my personal training program, that they don't mind showing us things. So it's good with what we're trying to do. It's good with where we're going. You know, our minds are made up. You just got to make your mind up to do and be a community and be set apart and do the things that's going to allow us to stay holy and do the will of the Father in this current day. And, and this is, I can t guarantee you, this is one of the ways that you stay holy and set apart by putting yourself in the midst of community, putting yourself around where iron can sharpen iron. And, uh, you know, you be tested on serving, the servitude, your love for the brethren. You're going to be tested on all those things when you put yourself in that situation. So I hope. Uh, you encourage. I'm trying to make sure that we get you all caught up because we haven't done any uh, homestead videos. Uh, later on, uh, we have a, a canning event that's going to go on. Brother Perry's wife uh, is going to work with the sisters on canning, and so that's going to be a really good deal. And uh, hopefully you all can tune in. I think we're going to do it uh, on the uh, Pastor Charles Dow page as well as maybe try to have a, a deal go to our YouTube page. But uh, we're going to try to get that going today but you all be blessed i'm pastor core with the straightway ministries of straightway kansas city hey shalom shalom